In an earlier demonstration video, it was shown how Microfocus Idle can be used to scan any repository, in this case support tickets and wiki pages for sensitive information. This type of processing allows organizations to automatically read documents in order to comply with regulations, protect their reputations, and more generally perform deep analytics over what is being said and written, looking for both the unknown unknowns and known unknowns. Let's look behind the scenes at how IDLE was configured to process the data. Multiple connector tasks are configured for Confluence and ServiceNow. Between the connector processors and eduction processor, a few steps are taken to normalize metadata and properly process files. The IDLE eduction engine has various grammars and entities enabled. The next step looks for combinations of entity values and adds a flag to each document making it easy for downstream processing or UIs to identify violating documents without servicing the sensitive data. Let's look at the match results in more detail. For PCI credit card number, the entity name, position in text, match confidence score, and extracted value are captured. In the case of credit card number, the confidence score reflects whether the regex pattern and the check are both satisfied. For PII address, the same type of information is captured plus components data. For PSI private key, the position, match confidence score, and extracted value are captured. Idle deduction returns these details, providing transparency into why a value matched a given entity with a confidence score reflecting the sometimes fuzzy nature. Remember, the idle deduction engine is available as a standalone SDK and also embedded into various idle services like NiFi Ingest and others. The goal being to read a stream of text looking for the configured entities. Besides complex regular expression patterns and dictionaries, algorithmic validation can be applied for matches within the engine. In the case of the third batch, the confidence score is reduced to 10%, illustrating that a match to the regex occurred, but a failure of the checksum. These algorithmic validations are also used in many countries' national ID and tax ID numbers. Besides the extraction of values, redaction produced by the eduction engine can also be enabled. In this case, the match text is replaced with a custom redaction string. Let's take a look at an example grammar definition file. Grammars are defined via a combination of regex patterns and dictionaries. Scores can be assigned to individual entries and patterns. Entities may be private, used as building blocks and other entities. Grammars can include other grammar files and build upon other entities. Within the induction engine, additional inspection of matches to perform algorithmic validation and or value and score normalization can be configured. Here is the checksum validation for Spain's national ID number. Dozens of validation scripts are included with the additional IDLE grammar packages. With IDLE's connectors to hundreds of repositories and KeyView support for over 1,500 and growing file formats, combined with an also growing predefined library of thousands of entities, it is easy to automatically read text either at rest or in motion. As of version 12.9, over 100 countries and languages have predefined entity support covering all of the inhabited continents. Plus, on top of the predefined grammars, new and custom entities can be configured. The predefined grammar library and configurable IDLE deduction engine greatly reduces implementation time and effort, decreasing the time to insights and security. That's all for today's demonstration. Please look for future videos covering related topics.